Hello everybody, Katie here. Thank you for joining me today for ICAD Day 1. Alright, so right now I'm going to gesso my index card with just some white gesso. And I'm using a little scraper you can get at Home Depot for really, really cheap. So, scraping it on there, not really caring what I'm doing, just getting the gesso on. Now this is drywall tape and I'm just going to take it and cut it up and piece it on there and it'll add some texture elements to my page and make it look more interesting. So yay! And I'm using some collage podge to go over it just so it's secured down. And just so you guys know, I am drying in between all of this stuff. Okay, so here is some sheet music that I had previously stamped some butterflies on. For this project, I'm trying to use scraps from my desk, so you'll see a lot of elements that come into play that were just leftover scraps from projects. So I'm fiddling with these butterflies, and I found some... Uh, modeling paste honeycomb pattern and I'm gonna glue that down also with some regular gel medium it's just gonna add some texture and give something extra to the to the card and I'm using my brayer and I'm fiddling some more with some butterflies cuz that's what you do you fiddle So I'm about to glue these down again using the collage podge and then I will be gluing some music note scrapbook paper to the corners, uh, the opposite corners and I will be done with my gluing. Hope all of you are having a great day today. It is raining cats and dogs in Houston, Texas. We have had flooding and all kinds of crazy weather for so long now it seems like. So hopefully you guys have better weather than we do here. All right, looks like I'm finishing up the glue. I decided to go all over and just glue up everything so it's even and showing you a quick view of what that looks like. And I'm gonna tone down, especially the green drywall tape, I wanna tone that down so it's not as bold of a green and stands out as much as it does. And just kind of get the edges of the ripped papers and everything to kinda mesh together, I guess. So that's what I'm doing with that. So now I'm taking out some gelatos. These are by Fiber Castell. They are not actual gelatos, they are gel sticks. I've never owned gel gelatos, so I don't know if there's a huge difference, but these I'm fine with, so I'm gonna keep using them. And this is just a light, they don't have names, so this is just like a, the light blue in the 12 pack. And then I'm going to use the dark blue. And I'm taking a water barrel brush to kind of push that around the page and go lightly around the butterflies. And... Yep, that's what I'm doing. I've never narrated a video before and... I thought it was going to be difficult, but it seems like I can't come up with anything to talk about. So here I'm just using my finger to kind of get the paint into the little crevices of the drywall tape and the texture paste. And I'm going to take a baby wipe here and wipe some of that down. 
I know that seems like it was a worthless step to some people, but to me, it was all part of the process. I don't ever go into these things knowing what I'm going to do, so it just happened as it happened. So here I've taken a fan brush and some gesso with some water, and I've made little splatters all over the paper. And here's some Distress Stain in Barn Door, I believe, and I'm going to use that to add another color element. And using my fingers, I'll spread it around. That is my favorite, favorite, favorite way to add color or paint, I guess you could say, finger paint. It just, I, I like the to feel what I'm doing, and I don't feel like I get that with paintbrushes. So, yeah, anyways, here's what it looks like right now. Alright, so I took archival ink in jet black and the same stamps, the butterfly stamps, as were on that scrap paper, and I put them on another scrap paper, and I'm going to color them. This is with Silks Acrylic. And then my water barrel brush, this one is in Wine and Roses, I believe it's called. It's a, it's a purpley color, and I'll use another one in a second that is a gold color. They're both silks. I've had them for quite some time. They've dried up quite a bit, but if you just use your water barrel brush in there, you can get it, get it real easy. I like that. So I'm just coloring it in haphazardly, no rhyme or reason, just adding color. And I'll cut that out, but I'm pretty sure that I, I didn't make you guys watch that part, so. And I also dried it, just FYI. <laughs> okay, so, oh. Okay, so I'm actually going to add some of this Golden Monarch Silks Acrylic onto the page just to, I guess, add that element into the page itself. And using my water barrel brush and my finger, it's just going to rub it in. And then here is where I will glue the butterflies on, but I'm not going to like completely glue them flat. I'm going to make it so that their wings are sort of you know, floating, but they're not actually down. They're just going to be tacked down mostly in the middle. I kind of like that it look, it makes it look like it's floating. Alrighty, so next up, I think I'm going to take a Posca pin and I'm going to emphasize the butterfly eyes antenna just so they stand out a little bit more. And then I am going to take a uh, liquid or Liquitex acrylic basics in cerulean blue blue hue and add some more splatters. I love splatters. And now I am taking a dye ink pad in the color denim. It's by Ranger. I got it at Tuesday morning. I love Tuesday morning, by the way, for craft stuff. It's awesome. But anyways, <laughs> um, I'm going around the edges just kind of randomly as a border. And now I have stickles in paprika. I was really wanting to make lines with the stickles, but it was I, I had no control of how it came out. So I just ended up using my finger to spread some, some of the glittery stickles around. And that worked too. So... It's hard to tell, but it is glittery and pretty. So, all right, these are Mr. Huey's uh, spray canvas letters. I'm gonna take them out to spell ICAD, which is index card today, and some Heidi Swap in the black color. And I'm gonna spray those down. And then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take my Posca pins in red and blue and kind of add some color element to that so it's not just all flat black. So yeah, it's really hard to tell that it's actually 
making a difference, but hopefully in the end pictures you can you can see that it did actually show up. So now I'm going to lay it out here, and I believe I take a wink of Stella at some point in the clear glitter. Oh, I'm, I'm redefining the red, excuse me. <laughs> it's hard to remember what step I did. Um, but yeah, I'll take Wink of Stella at some point in the clear glitter and go over the letters as well. Yep, there it is. See guys, I'm not lying. Just for a touch of glitter. I'm not a huge glitter girl when it comes to my artwork, but every now and then a little touch of it is nice. So, gluing down the letters. Again with the collage page, and I'm going to push that down with that little scraper I used the gesso on and some gesso came off onto the thing so if you see the pictures you'll see that there's actually some white on those letters that's why yeah. Happy accidents right? Okay so I'm taking this stamp set that I got at Tuesday morning. I'm not sure what brand it is but it's just like uh, months and dates and stuff like that and it's going to say 2016 with the jet black archival ink of course and I'm pretty sure that that's all I got guys thanks for watching and I will see you next time alright bye bye